What's going on guys, Big and Aaron. Today we're gonna show you how to score goals in NHL 16. All right, guys, we're going to start off with the absolute best way to score in this game. We're not starting off with the breakaway. We're not starting off with the short side. It's the one-timer. This is the year of the one-timer, and I'm telling you, use it as much as you possibly can. If your opponent isn't setting up to stop the one-timer, you're going to get a ton of goals. It doesn't matter if you're setting up from the corner, as you've seen. It doesn't matter if you're scoring off the rush, as you've seen. Find your teammates, and you are going to get a ton of goals. Use that one-timer, use that cross crease, and it'll go in. You can even force it. Anyway, if your opponent doesn't know how to stop it, he might even start saying stuff like this. See? Told you it works. Scores 9 nothing. Still hasn't figured out how to stop it. So anyways, let's look at the next way to score in this game. We're looking at the short side snipe. First, we're going to look at the wrist shot short side snipe, and you want to be just inside those hash marks when you're letting it go. I found that if you get the goalie moving over to the other side, see I'm coming out of the corner across, the goalie just starts to slide over. That's when I let it go short side. It seems to work the best rather than if you're just coming into the zone. Watch, right before the hash marks, boom, snipe it. The goalie just started to bite off that post. And that seems to be the way it works, short side for me anyway this year. Some other guys are scoring from farther out. I don't know. It's not as consistent. I'm telling you, if they let you just inside the hash marks, it'll go in. Now the slab shot, short side, let her go. If they give you a little more room, you can fire it from farther out. Look, I'm a little further out, either towards the boards or towards the blue line. You can let her go short side with the slab shot, and it's going in quite a bit, quite a bit. So anyway, if they give you a little room, don't be scared to use that slab shot. Short side, top shelf. It'll work for you, I'm telling you. Now, it wouldn't be a complete video if I didn't look at breakaways, because if you get a breakaway in a game, you got to score on it. You have to score on it. Now, there's a few different ways to score, but sometimes the best move is almost no move. Just use that back end, go way too low, right down to that icing line, and roof it. Make sure you go upstairs with it way too low. Beats them. Short side, that's all you gotta do. Just skate with it. You can go cross the crease with it, or you can just go right down to that line. Just roof it. The truth is, anytime your opponent lets you in one on one with the goalie, the backhander is a good tool for you. You put it upstairs, and it's gonna go in quite a bit. And breakaways are no different. Now, this isn't the only way to score on breakaways. There's actually tons of different ways. You can get pretty with it. You can do the toe drag just like that. It doesn't work quite as often, so it might be a little riskier. Maybe when you're up eight nothing, like I am right here. But the backhand forehand works. The forehand backhand. If you can get the goalie moving on a breakaway, you're gonna score. But let's look at face-offs, and what we're going to do is we're just going to set up for our other types of goals. You've seen right there, I got one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. I use that backhander. If you skate directly across the crease, whether it's forehand or backhand, you're going to have a good chance on scoring. Just go high upstairs on the far side. It's going to go in. Now, another way, use that push face-off once again and rip it short side. All you're doing is setting yourself up for a perfect opportunity of the other ways to score. I showed you the breakaway style with that backhander. I showed you me letting it go just inside the hash marks with that short side snipe wrist shot. And if the one timer is there right off the face off, you can use that too. But let's talk about the last way to score and that's shooting low from the point. Watch this, bam, through traffic, you're gonna have to fire that puck low. Now, if you have a wide open lane, shoot a high short side like I showed you before. But if there's a lot of traffic there, fire it low. Yeah, you might have to get a little lucky to score from there, but at the same time, if you shoot high, it's not going to get to the net. You have a chance for a rebound this way, and even better yet, you have a chance for a tip in. Watch this. Fires it, perfect tip on net, and they do go in sometimes. Not as consistent as the other ways to score, but it works if you have no other options. Well, there you have it, guys. These are the best ways to score in NHL 16, in my opinion, and hopefully they work for you as well. If you guys would like more tip videos on other areas, be sure to hit that like button for me. We'll see you guys soon.